We don't own the copyrights to the music that's playing, but come on in. It's a great Sunday. It's a great day. Good morning, Sister Hannah. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Go ahead and enjoy the music that's playing in the background. Cannot explain when we proclaim mm -hmm. your great name. Good morning, Sister Barbara. Good morning, Amber. Love you. Come on in. We just ask that you um, sh hit the share button. Hit that share button. Mm -hmm. Let people know that uh, Pastors Aaron uh -huh. and Narita Paris is on live. Amen. Share, share, share. Even our dog knows we're on live. That's why he's biting. <laughs> Hallelujah. Good morning, Anthony. God bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, power in the name. Come on, if you believe there's power in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Just praise him right where you are at. Amen. Yep. Throw some, some thumbs up and some like because you know there's power in the name. There is power in the name of Jesus. Power in the name of Jesus. Call your Jesus. Things change when we call your name. I gotta work on my dance moves. <laughs> amen, amen. My, my praise moves. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, we're amen. Gonna, Ten more seconds, we're gonna wait, and then we're gonna go ahead and start. Hit the share, share, share button. Share. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know what you're going through, but call that name of Jesus this morning. Amen. When I call your name. Hey. When I call your name. When I call your Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. To the Bridgeton Church of God Facebook live service. Mm -hmm. um, we had discontinued our live service due to our responsibilities that we have to our local church and our in-person services. But because of uh, unforeseen circumstances, we've had to go live um, two weeks in a row. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we're excited um, to be able to touch you through Facebook Live, but there's nothing like an in-person service. Amen, first lady. amen, amen. Um, there's just there's this an element of worship um, that you miss, miss if you are not with us in person. So we encourage you um, next week as we resume our services in person, uh, Regardless to what the circle, I mean, Jesus would have to come for us not to be there next week. But um, uh, we just encourage you to be there for our in-person services that start at 1130 Amen. at 81 Pamphylia Amen. Avenue in Bridgeton, New Jersey. Amen. Um, we would love to have you and uh, love to worship with you. Um, we're excited today because God has a word. Yes, he does. Um, for us today. And um, I know it's blessed me as I prepared the message um, you know, it was just speaking to me. So I know that it's going to speak Lord to you to as well. So we're going to begin with a word of yes, prayer God. and ask God to just lay his hand on this moment. 
yes, Lord, on Jesus. this moment that we're having right now and that it will be a divine encounter Thank and you, that Jesus. you will be blessed beyond measure Thank as you, we are going live this morning. Let Thank us pray. You, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord, today for the privilege it's always a privilege, God, to come and to worship you mm -hmm. uh, through song and through worship and through the preached word of God. I pray, Lord, that as I minister today to uh, my Facebook live audience, God, that you would allow the anointing of the Holy Spirit to be transmitted through uh, social media and that you would touch those that are connected with us uh, this morning. Um, God, we thank you for anointing the word. We thank you for anointing the time that we have for an altar call service uh, via social media. And we give you the glory, honor, and praise for the results. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. I hope you've been hitting that uh, share button, you know, like. Share, share, share. Tag, share. Let someone know that we're on this morning and next week, Sunday. We want to remind you, grab a friend, grab a family member, be in service 1130, amen, at the Bridgeton Church of God, 81 Pamphylia Avenue. We're going to have a high time in the Lord, amen, because we're going to make up for two lost weeks. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we're going in, we're going in. I'm, I'm bringing, you know what, I'm bringing my slippers. All right, so, all right. So all we right. can uh, just have, you know, enjoy the presence of the Lord. Amen, so, hallelujah. Uh, we, we, we really are... Um, a little bit, um, I wouldn't say upset, but just a little. Um, we're mi we're missing our lives. Missing sir. missing our in person services. Yes, yes, um, yes. You know that's where uh, you know God really uh, meets us in a very special way. Mm -hmm. um, but we believe that He's going to meet us today on uh, Amen. this Facebook Live service. So, First Lady, are there any, there any announcements that you would like to make? I know that you Amen. have started doing prayer via YouTube. Amen. Praise God. And I want you to join me on Tuesdays on YouTube um, page. Jo uh, it's Bishop Aaron and Pastor Narina Parish. Amen. Every Tuesday at 7 p.m. I need you to send me your prayer request. Send it to me. I'm telling you, and we're going to bombard heaven. It's, you know, what's worse than not praying It's praying and not expected. God to answer. It, you, it, it's worse than not praying. So we are going to come expecting God to hear and answer our prayer request. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And join me as we bombard heaven. Amen. The Bible says that men ought always to pray and not faint. You can't get tired. There's a, there's a, a waiting period. That's where the fruit of patience comes in, Bishop. Where when you pray, you wait for the answer. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, I'm not tech savvy, First Lady. You know that. If somebody wants to connect with you on YouTube, is there a link that you can send them? Is there a Absolutely. way that they can connect? Absolutely. And the link is going to be in the chat pinned um, as soon as, you know, um, I, I get get situated and Bishop is preaching. You'll see that pinned in the chat where you can just click on the link and get straight to our YouTube page. And if you miss it, the beauty is you can go back. And watch it. Amen. And pray along with me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Isn't God good? Amen. Thank God for technology. And so on, on Wednesdays, um, we have our Bible study. We're doing the fruits of the spirit, y'all. I'm telling you, I don't know about you. If you've been watching, God has uh, orchestrated that what we preach, we got to live it. <laughs> Amen. You know what? I, I, you know, and there's no such a thing, but I felt like I got saved all again, <laughs> all over again by going through the fruits of the spirit. Um, there's some weeks I, I, I left, man, where God just stepped all over my feet. But that's good. Amen. But whenever God chastised us, it means that he loves us. Amen. The Bible says that God chastises those whom he loves. Amen. And so we've been going through the fruits of the spirit. Um, you know what I discovered? It's easy. Uh, well, not easier. The, the gifts of the spirit are more easy to talk about than the fruits of the spirit. Amen. Amen. So uh, we talked about kindness. Amen. This, Hallelujah. This, this week, and we talked about doing good, um, loving our enemies. Hallelujah. I'm telling. I don't yes, know about you, but you know, some of that is is tough. You know, treating others the way you want to be treated. Amen. So join us uh, this Wednesday for um, Bible study. I'm telling you, it's rich, and and we're growing. And we're walking this thing out, and with the scriptures coming alive to us. Yes, and back sometimes, in a practical sometimes, way. Sometimes we're like, "Okay, God, can you ease up off of this a little bit?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we 
we got a lot. We got to walk it out. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So join us on Wednesday as we journey through the fruit of the Spirit and we begin to grow into the mighty warriors, kingdom of priests that Christ has called us to be. Amen. Oh, All right, yeah. and, and prayer. And don't forget uh, the app for giving. Since we're not going to be in the building this week, you know, because you're not going to be in the building doesn't mean that we stop giving. Because when you stop giving, you close the doors and the opportunities that God um, needs to get blessings into your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. Can somebody shake it over there? And run, run it over. over. Shall men give unto your bosom. So don't forget to give. Amen. Givelify.com. Givelify.com for the Bridgeton Church of God. So without further ado, I don't know about you, but I'm ready and hungry for the word of God. All right. Well, I'm excited about the word of the Lord. This Bishop done drank my coffee, y'all. I didn't drink the coffee. I'm sorry. He gave me an empty cup. That's right. I said, you know, go ahead and take the empty cup because I'm done with it. <laughs> Amen. But, Love uh, you and I'll see y'all in a few. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. All right. All right. All right. But we just thank the Lord for, um, for you being able to be with us this morning. And we're looking forward to having a high time in the Lord. Listen, find a comfortable place wherever you're at, whether you're in your car, your bedroom, your living room, find you a good seat. Um, go ahead. If you've you got to run and get a cup of coffee, go ahead and do that um, while we get prepared to hear the word of the Lord on this Sunday morning. I hope you're having, preparing to have a great day tomorrow to celebrate the 4th of July. Um I don't know what we're going to do, but I know that I'm probably going to be somewhere around the grill. There's a song that people sing um, that says uh, somewhere around the throne where I'm going to be somewhere around the grill on tomorrow. So excited to be with you today. Um, we're coming today from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 43. And I'm going to read one verse, one verse of scripture, verse 19, Isaiah chapter number 43. And we're looking at verse number 19. And the word of God reads us thus. It says, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Let me read that to you again, just in case, because, because somebody really needs to get this word. They really need to get it in their spirit. Maybe you're discouraged. Maybe you're despondent. Maybe you feel down. Maybe you feel like uh, things are bleak in your life. And this is what God is speaking to you personally. He says, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, hallelujah, and rivers in the desert. You know, I love to travel. If you know me, um, my, my suitcase uh, stays halfway packed because I just love to travel. I think sometimes my wife um, gets somewhat annoyed with me because I'm always looking to go on a vacation. Um, for me, there's this something captivating about preparing to take trips to places that I've never been or seen before. Not too long ago, my wife and I uh, had taken a trip and during uh, our flight uh, returning home, we ran into some difficulties because our flight was delayed, causing us to miss our connecting flight. It was frustrating to say the least because we were faced with the possibility of having to stay overnight in the city where our connecting flight was for something that we had no control over. When we arrived, we were told that our seats on our connecting flight had been sold to others and the plane that we were scheduled to board on had just left the gate. We were tired. We were frustrated. We were mad. 
<laughs> yes, we were mad because the plane knew that we were in route to the place where our connecting flight was, yet it did not wait for us to rock to arrive. To make a long story short, we managed to get on another flight and we made it home safe safely. But I want to minister to you and I I, I, I'm going to backtrack. I want to minister to you on this subject. No more delays. Because I told that story to you today because I need somebody on Facebook Live this morning to know that there are going to be no more delays in your life as it relates to your future. I need you to type in the comment section concerning your life. No more delays. No more delays. Hallelujah. Some of you are frustrated. You're tired, just like me and my wife was. Um, some things seem to have left before you got there, but I need you to know today that God is going to do a new thing in your life, and I need you to understand. I need you to get it in your spirit that there are going to be no more delays as it relates to your future. Listen, this is a season where God's getting ready to accelerate some things in your life. This is a season where God is getting ready to fast forward some things, hallelujah, that have been on pause, some things that have, have had, where you seemingly have been going around in circles, not being able to make any progress but I need you to know that in this season that you stepped into, and when I say season, I'm talking about this time, this moment where you're at currently right now, God is saying no more delays. God is opening doors of opportunity. God is fast forwarding some things, hallelujah, and you're getting ready to step into a time where God is going to do an exceeding abundant thing in your life that is beyond what you can even imagine in your mind. Hallelujah. Somebody right now need to just go ahead and just give God a praise. Hallelujah. For your miracle, for your breakthrough that he's doing in your life right now. Hallelujah. Praise him because the delays is over. Praise him because the missed opportunities are gone. Praise him because the worst part Hallelujah. You have already come through the worst part and now your best days, your best days, oh glory to God, are ahead of you and they are not behind you. Somebody shout hallelujah by giving some hearts and some thumbs up. Hallelujah. In our text, the prophet Isaiah was referring to Israel's deliverance from Egypt in the past and they're passing through the Red Sea. And then he promised them that the same power that delivered them from Egypt was also going to deliver them from Babylonian captivity. I need you to write down these four statements because they are pertinent as it relates to God's vision for your life. It, it's important because you need to know this as it relates to what's going to happen in your life as you are moving forward. Listen, I need you to know point number one is this, is that the vision is not borrowed nor blue. It's new. The vision is not borrowed or blue, but it is new. Number two, you need to know that the vision concerning your life is going to spring forward. It's getting ready to spring forward. Thirdly, you need to know, hallelujah, and you're going to shout on this one, God is is making a way out of no way. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And fourthly, you need to know this as it relates to the vision concerning your life. God is giving you new direction in barren places and water and dry land, metaphorically speaking. Let me say that again. God is giving you new direction. Somebody need to say in, in the comment section, I thank God for new direction. Hallelujah. He's giving you a, a, a new direction. Watch this. In barren places. What I'm meaning, when I refer to barren places, I'm referring metaphorically speaking, some of you are in places that 
are, 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 are barren. In other words, they're not feeding you emotionally. They're not feeding you monetarily. Um, they're not feeding you. They're not stimulating you intellectually. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. It's a barren places. It's a barren places. But God, watch this, is going to give you new direction in those barren places. And watch this. He's going to give you water in dry land. Glory to God. I hope you have broke those things down because those things are what God's going to going to uh, cause you to remember as you are moving forward into this latter portion, the latter half of this new year. I want to elaborate further on those statements that I've asked you to write down because I need you to understand the relevancy of those things concerning your life. The first thing that I mentioned to you was the vision is nothing borrowed nor blue, but it's new. God said in our text, he said, behold or look. My God, I feel excited just saying that. I will do a new thing. Hallelujah. Somebody type in the comment section this statement. God loves to do new things. Hallelujah. God doesn't like anything borrowed and he doesn't like anything blue, which is uh, 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 re anything blue re refers to something. Uh, uh, it refers to tradition. Come on, somebody. You know, when people are, are getting married, they say you need to get something borrowed. You need to get something blue. But God, watch this. He likes to do new things. So God would never take something old to begin something new. Hallelujah. God doesn't take move off of, off of tradition. God likes to do new things. Watch this. Our God is a God of new beginnings. And he likes doing new things. It's all over creation. He designed our bodies all to, to always produce new cells, uh, new hair. Now, it, it don't seem like it's working for me. God, glory to God. But God likes uh, 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 to create new hair. We are always experiencing, watch this, new days. Glory to God. New years, new seasons. We have a new life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We have new opportunities and new challenges. And one of his last promises that he made in the Bible is that he will make all things new. Glory to God. God likes new things. He loves to do new things. He's a God of new beginnings. And I need you to know today that God is getting ready to make all things new in your life. You're saying, what do you mean by that, pastor? That means, watch this, that God is doing some rearranging in your life. Hallelujah. I came home one day and, and, and when I came in my house, I looked to the left where our office is and I looked and I noticed that things had been rearranged in my my office. My wife had done some rearranging and she put the desk in another place. And I need somebody to know today that God is doing some rearranging in your life. He's shifting some things around because there is a new beginning that's getting ready to spring forth in your life. Now, hallelujah. And, and you don't even realize it, but he's rearranging some things. He's, he's moving some things out and bringing some things in. He's moving this over here and moving that over there. Watch this because there is a new new beginning that's getting ready to take place in your life. Somebody need to praise the Lord because you've been stagnant for so long. You've been complacent for too long. You've been on the verge or on the, on the book, brink of breakthroughs and prosperity and promotions and things that are supposed to come your way. Hallelujah. But God is saying, watch this out with the old and in with the new, because I'm doing something brand new in your life. Somebody give a heart, <clears throat> give me some hearts and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. God likes to do new things. And, and not only that, but he likes to do new things in your life. He's giving you a new beginning. The second thing I need you to know concerning your life is that the vision is springing forward. 
Notice what God says in our text, Isaiah 43, verse 19. He says, now it shall spring forth. Uh, notice the use of the word spring. I looked up the word spring in the Merriam-Webster dictionary and spring is defined as uh, one definition is to issue with speed and force or as a stream. Another definition says of spring, it means to stretch, um, stretch out in height. Oh, glory to God. Another definition for spring, it means to cause to operate suddenly. Notice it, Notice the descriptive words of spring. It means to, to force. It means to, to speed. It means to stream. It means to stretch out. Glory to God. It means, it means suddenly. Glory to God. All these words and phrases describes God's activity in your life. When he talks about now the vision is going to spring forth, it's saying that now it's going to be, it's going to forcefully come into existence. It's going to be, it's going to speed. It's going to accelerate in terms of time frame. Oh, somebody need to hear me here. It, it means it's going to stream. In other words, there's not going to be any any delays. It's going to come forth um, in, 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 in the way that it ought to come forth. There, there's some things that's going to happen in your life that that's going to happen simultaneously. It's going to seem like suddenly. It's going to seem as if everything had been on pause up until this moment, but now things are happening in such a rapid rate, rate that you're not going to be able to keep up with the favor and the blessings that God is going to lay upon your life. Listen, there is an season of divine acceleration that's coming your way. What God is simply going to blow your mind is what's going to happen. It's going to happen so fast that you're going to say, God, I can't keep up with the blessings. I can't keep up with the promotions. I can't keep up, glory to God, with the people that you're bringing in my life that's blessing me. I can't keep up. This is a season, glory to God, where you're going to overflow with the blessings and the favor of of God upon your life. Hallelujah. God is saying to you now, not tomorrow, not down the, the, the road, not next year, but now the, the, the vision is going to spring forth. Oh my God. Hallelujah. What have you been waiting for God to do in your life? God said it's going to be done now. What have you been anticipating God doing in your ministry? God said, now it's going to spring forth. What have you been wanting God to do in your life occupationally? God said, now it's going to spring forth. What have you been waiting for as it relates to your health? God said, now. It's going to spring forth. Hallelujah. Anticipate it. Look for it. Rejoice over it because it's going to happen now. Notice what God also says. He says, the, the third point I need you to get is this. God is making a way. God said in, in, in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, he said, I will make a way. Isn't that comforting knowing that? Well, God says, I will make a way. I need somebody to know that God is working behind the scenes in your life, orchestrating events in your favor. God said, I will make a way. You know, I'm always excited when God says he's going to do something because God is not like man. Man will promise you something and not deliver. But when God says, I will, hallelujah, I, I. Jehovah God, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisa, I, God, the God that, that made the universe, created man, um, and I, I will make Away, hallelujah. I'm working behind the scenes in your life. Those of you that are on Facebook Live, I'm working behind the scenes of your life, Sister Hannah. I'm working behind the scenes in your life, Sister Barbara. I'm God is saying, I'm working behind the scenes in your life, Sister Amber. I'm working behind the scenes in your life. You can't see it, you don't even know it, but I'm orchestrating 
frustrating events in your favor and what you see as failure is me aligning you with the things that I'm going to do in your life. Romans 8.28 says that all things work together for the good for those that love God and are called, called according to his purpose. Somebody say, just type in the comment sex and God, he's working behind the scenes in my life. God is working behind the scenes. You know, in, in Hollywood, they have, uh, 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 they usually do movies where they do behind the scenes. And when uh, in the film, you see how um, behind the scenes, you'll see how the film was actually made and actually produced um, to, uh, in order to come up with that finished product. And I need you to know that, that what, what God is doing now in your life, he's not telling you the how. Oh my God. God is not telling you the how, yet he's working a masterpiece in your life behind the scenes. Oh my God, you got to catch that. Hallelujah. The production has not been yet released. Hallelujah. The movie has not yet been released. Oh, glory to good God. But I need you to know that even though it's not been released, it's going to be a Hollywood hit, metaphorically speaking. Hallelujah. It's going to be off the charts. It's going to be grandiose. It's going to be, oh, be bigger than the color purple. It's going to be bigger than Batman. Glory to God. Because behind the scenes, God has been putting people, places, and things in the right place that's preparing you to step into the scene. Come on, somebody, and explode. This is your season. This is your time. Hallelujah. No more delays, folks. You need to give God a praise. Hallelujah. Even though you can't see it. God is setting the stage for your next season or scene of your life, even though you can't see it. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Somebody all right now needs to just start rejoicing. They need to start. You need to start praising God. Hallelujah. Because God is aligning things in your favor. Fourthly, you need to know this. God is giving you new direction in barren places. And he's giving you water and dry land. Notice what God told the children of Israel. He said this. He said, I will even make a way in the wilderness. And I will make rivers. Oh, glory to God. In dry places. The greatest lie that you could ever believe is it's too late. Let me say that again. The greatest lie that you could ever believe is that it's too late. Listen, listen, will we see failure? God sees potential for something new. When we see failure, God sees potential for something new. The minute we stumble and come apart, God already is planning a comeback. When we mess up on plan A, God is already working on plan B. I need somebody to know today that feel like they're overwhelmed. They feel like, like, Every time I get so close to a breakthrough or every time I get to the mountaintop, there seems that something is thrown inside of, of the plan or what's going on, a monkey wrench, and things seem, I get derailed, things seem to be delayed, um, I seem to get disconnected, I become uh, despondent, I become discouraged. We can go on, uh, the list can go on with the, the, uh, the D's. I become depressed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But God needs you to know today that you don't have to, uh, uh, have any of those things. And if those thoughts are going through your mind, you can just eradicate those thoughts because what God is going to do is something new in your life. Listen, there is no script for this, this next uh, 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 move that God is going to make, do in your life. Listen, there is no template for it. It's brand new. God saying hallelujah that, that when he puts you into this next season of your life, it's going to blow your mind. Listen, I'm sensing in my spirit right now that I'm connected to some folk on this live stream that, that are frustrated with status quo living. You're frustrated with the mundane. You're frustrated with the old and the outdated. You're frustrated with 
antiquated ways. You're frustrated, hallelujah, with stale things. You're frustrated with the monotony of going through the motions and doing the same thing over and over again and not getting different results. And you're saying, God, if this is all that there is, then I quit. Oh my God, I feel like I'm I'm speaking to some people this morning that are on the verge of quitting. But listen, I need you to say, tell you, don't you throw in the towel just yet. Because right over the horizon is something brand new where God is getting ready to cause you to live again. He's going to cause you to dream again. He's going to cause you to breathe again. He's going to cause you to have joy again. Oh, glory to God, because watch this. He, oh my God, for all of your suffering and for all of your pain, God is going to award you for it. Listen, I, there's a, a saying that says, that goes that this way, weeping may endure for a night. But joy is coming in the morning time. Some of you have been through a season of mourning, a season of, of grieving, because watch this. You have been you have had to stand watch over dead things. Y'all ain't hearing me this morning. You've had you you've had to be caretakers over things that are decaying in your life. In other words, you've had to watch over things that are that refuse to change that refuse to be anything different. My God, but God said, what I'm doing in your life is brand new. It's 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 nothing in comparison to what what the old was. Listen, because in verse 18, God says this to Israel. He says, "Don't remember the former things of old. Don't even look at the things that I've done in the past because behold, I'm getting ready to do something new." I'm speaking to you this morning. I know you can't see it. I know you can't see how he's going to do it. I know you're wondering how, when, but listen, God said, don't worry about the details because I already worked out the details. You need to trust me in this season of your life and know that when, watch this, when I say go, I need you to go. When I open the door, I need you to walk through it. When I went, because watch this, everything's already set up. Watch this. Somebody has your name on in their mouth. Oh, my God. Come on, First Lady. I need you to come on up because I feel the spirit of prophecy coming on me. Hallelujah. Somebody has your name in, in their mouth because, watch this, there is a promotion. Ha hallelujah. I feel this. Somebody's going to testify about this next Thank week. You, there is a promotion that's coming your way. Your name, you, watch this, is in somebody's mouth. Hallelujah. Your resume is on somebody's table. Oh, glory to God. And they're talking about using you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, you. Mm -hmm. ha! They're talking about using you. Hallelujah. You, First Lady, Amen. in this next venture. Amen. They're talking about using yes, you. Watch Allah. this. They're, they're they're jobs. Yeah. This resume, somebody put a resume in a long time ago in a job that you, that has never called you. But listen, in the next seven days, the next seven days, you're going to get a phone call. And that person is going to say, listen, you're needed at this particular time. Listen, when it happens, I just need you to rejoice. When it happens, I just need you to give God praise. Thank listen, you, this is your time. This is your season. This is your moment. Listen, somebody right now, hallelujah, is getting ready to transition into greater. You feel like your life is over. You feel like that, 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 that there's nothing ahead of you that is bright. But God wants me to tell you this morning that your future is bright. Don't stop living. Your ministry's not over. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are not, Amen. you're Amen. not old. Amen. You are not antiquated. You're Amen. not outdated. Amen. Oh, Amen. glory to God. God said, listen. You're just transitioning into another phase of your life Hallelujah. where instead of being the one to, to pour into others, you're going to be the one, hallelujah, to, to, to mentor and to develop and to lead others that are coming up behind you. Listen, you, don't resist the shift. 
Because God is just aligning you for greater. Amen. Oh, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No more delays. No more delays. Glory to God. God said he's doing something hallelujah. brand new in hallelujah. your life. Listen, I'm getting ready to pray because yes, I feel that when I pray this morning, hallelujah. that there's going to be a release that's going Thank to take you, place Thank you, Jesus. over this live. First lady, do you feel a word? Do you feel Thank a word? You do you feel something Thank before I Jesus. pray? Hallelujah. Go ahead, Bishop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm getting ready to pray. I need you to, I need you to, listen, listen, I need you to pray with me because God is going to do something as I pray. God is going to honor this prayer. Listen, I don't need you to base it on a feeling, but I need you to base it on faith. I'm going to pray for some individuals. Listen, there's an individual that's getting ready to be promoted. There's an individual that, that's getting ready to be shifted into greater. Hallelujah. There's an individual, hallelujah, hallelujah, that's getting ready to get a fresh wind. They're hallelujah. going to get new hallelujah. vigor. Hallelujah. They're going to get a, they're going to get uh, another click in their heels, so to say. They, you, they're, they're, there's another zing. There's another zang. That you're getting Hallelujah. ready to, to, to get. There's another twang Amen. that's getting Amen. ready Amen. to get. You're getting Amen. a new swag, a, a new, a new, new, newness about you. Amen. Come on. Hey, God said you're going to, uh, oh my Thank God, you you're going to walk Thank in arenas you. that you've never walked in before. Watch this. Hear me now. Let me pray for you. Thank you. Jesus. Let me pray for you. It's getting ready to happen. It's getting ready to happen. I feel a release. Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, for the Hallelujah. word that you have given me for those that are on this live today. I thank you, hallelujah, glory to God, that Lord, you're taking some from the place of stagnancy mm. into the place of productivity. Hallelujah. That you're taking some that have become dreamless and now they're, they're going to walk into a vision. Yes. Lord. Oh, glory to God. I thank you, God, hallelujah, da, 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 that you are a God of new beginnings and that you're doing new things in the lives of of those that are connected with me this morning. God, I rejoice Hallelujah. over the good news that's going to take place you, this Jesus. week. Listen, you, and we'll Hallelujah. give you glory, honor, Hallelujah. and praise Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. First lady, I, I, I'm, you, I'm in between praying and prophesying. I don't Amen. know whether I want to pray Amen. or Amen. prophesy. Listen, Amen. somebody's going to let it flow, Bishop. Somebody going to get a text this week. Somebody, somebody before the day's out going to get a text. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And saying, hey, come up over here. I don't know what's going on over there, hey, but come on over Jesus. here because, you, because you're needed. Thank you, Jesus. You're needed in this season. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I just Thank feel you, the glory and the presence of the Lord, first lady. Thank you, Jesus. I just feel Amen. God. I feel Amen. God. I feel God. I feel God. I feel God. I feel God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, if you're not glory. saved and you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal savior, Hallelujah. God wants to Thank do you, the first new thing he wants to do in your life is to make you a new Amen. creation. Amen. It's to make you brand new all Hallelujah. over again. And the only thing that you have to do in order to be made brand new is to pray this simple prayer after me. And that is Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And make me a new person. And make me a new person. In Jesus name I in pray. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen. Listen, if you pray that simple prayer, you're saved. That's it. Amen. It's you, it, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to run a five mile marathon. You don't have to do anything. You, you're saved. Listen, but what we want you to do is, is we want to connect with you. We want to connect mm -hmm. with you to help you to grow in your walk Thank you, Jesus. with the Lord. Listen, there's all kinds of ways that we can connect. Um, we don't even have to be in person. Um, we can connect uh, via Zoom. Um, there's all other things we can talk about it, but listen, email us or, or, or uh, uh, yeah, email us or send it in boxes. But the best way to get in touch with us is email us and say, I want to connect with you guys and we will set up a venue in which we can connect where we can have some dialogue with you and talk about the decision that you've made to follow Jesus. We love you guys so much. Listen, God is doing a new thing. He's going to make a way in the wilderness and he's going to make streams or rivers in your desert or dry places. Amen. Praise God. Isn't God good? Come on and just praise hey, him. Hey, right hey. Where you at? 
Right where you at. Right where you at. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, somebody need to somebody need to rejoice. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And give God you, praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Him right where you at. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I apologize, folks. I'm Pentecostal. It, well, we don't apologize. So I'm we, Pentecostal for the overflowing of the Spirit. Amen. When when you filled up and overflow. Yes, yes, yes. The we believe. Is speaking in tongues. Listen, we believe God is doing something new Amen. in our life. We believe God's doing something new in your Amen. life. Look for the shift. Amen. Look for the Amen. shift. Amen. Amen. Look for the realignment. Amen. Some of you, Hallelujah. some of you are aligned with bad things. Look for the realignment. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, Hallelujah. I can't turn off this prophecy yeah, thing. Come on, yeah, I can't yeah, turn it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I, I'm gonna tell you, if you have a prayer request, put it in the in the in the chat real quick, so we can do while the spirit is moving, we can yeah, pray yeah, for yeah, you yeah, specifically. Yeah, Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. You have a quick prayer request. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. I feel, I feel a Baptist spirit yeah, coming my on. God. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Gloria requests in prayer and healing of cancer that has returned to her lung in Jesus' name. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Jesus said in his word, and I mm -hmm. need you to help me, First Lady. Mm -hmm. He says that. In Isaiah, that by his stripes that we have already been healed. Amen. So it is a part of the atonement Amen. Of, of Christ on the cross that we can claim healing by faith. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't need to come touch you, but I can come in agreement with Amen. you and Amen. believe that God is going to heal you. First lady, we are going to pray and Amen. come against that Amen. cancer in Amen. her lungs Amen. in the name of Jesus, because just like it came back again, it can leave again. Amen. And leave, <laughs> and leave for good. Not coming back. We curse every spirit of oh, infirmity. We curse the spirit of sickness. We curse the spirit of cancer. We speak to you and we command you to be dried up to the root in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bind you in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood against you. We curse you. Hallelujah. Leave. Amen. Gloria Blackwell's lungs and never come back. Yes. And Holy Spirit, fill her up. Amen. In the name of Jesus, fill her up with your Holy Spirit. Let the healing power of the Holy Spirit flow from the crown of her head to the very sole of her feet. Let the healing power of Jesus Ooh, resurrect da, 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 every da, 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 da. cell that was destroyed by e cancer ba, 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 in the da, name da, 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 of da, da, da. Jesus. We cast them out. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Cancer and everything that came with it. We cast you out in the name of Jesus. He said he sent his word and he healed them and you are healed and we declare you healed in Jesus name. Amen. I need you folks Amen. Amen. To come in agreement and put in the chat that Gloria is healed in Jesus' name. I'm going to pray for uh, uh, Aunt Patsy. She says that there's spiritual warfare going on in her family. I want to pray for her. And Kimberly said that she's mentally tired. Amen. So I need you to pray for her. And we're going, we're going to just keep on praying. Oh, hallelujah for, for Aunt Pat. We come against this spiritual warfare hallelujah. that's taking place in your family. It is demonic. It Amen. comes from the devil. And we bind it in the, in name, the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Jesus Christ, we come against every principality, every demon from the bottomless pits of hell, and we command it in the name of Jesus Christ to be released from the Blackwell family in the name of the Jesus. Name of, uh, and we Masha, declare Masha, 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 today that the peace of God shall, that shall abide over that family, that chaos and confusion is dispelled in the name of Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. And you're touching the family right now by the power of the Holy Ghost that, that, that this whole I feel it, First Lady, yes. that this hold that demons have had on your family, is it's being released you, right now. You, it's being released right now as Thank I'm you, praying Jesus. in the name of Thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Kimberly Dunn, hallelujah. She's saying she's mentally tired. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank pray you, for Jesus. First Lady. Amen. We pray for Sister Kimberly, amen, that she's mentally tired and exhausted. And we pray, Lord God, the Bible said that the joy of the Lord is her strength. And we pray that the Holy Spirit will 
envelop her with the joy of God. Lord God, and we bind every spirit of exhaustion, Lord God, that should come against her. Lord God, and we pray that life, oh, no, we, pray, we pray life, we pray strength. Lord God, we pray, Thank Lord you, God, in the name of Jesus, Thank you, Jesus, mental fortitude right now, in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, that everything that is out of alignment in her life will come into alignment right now, in Jesus' name. And we pray right now, amen, for Janine C's and her marriage. Woo! Oh, God, you created marriage from the foundation of the earth. You created Adam and Eve. And Lord God, and we know that the devil, hallelujah, that slew it, hates marriage. But we bind them in the name of Jesus. We speak harmony. We speak love. We speak forgiveness. We speak joy in her marriage. I pray, God, that their marriage will never be the same again. I pray in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, that the devil will Ooh. be cast out of their marriage in the name of Jesus. Bind them together with cords that cannot be broken, the cords of love and joy and unity and peace in the name of Jesus. We come against, Lord God, any person or demons that will come against her marriage. Hallelujah. We thank God. Breathe upon them, O Holy Ghost. Breathe upon them. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. One more person I want to pray for, Sister Aida. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Lord, she is believing for realignment. Lord, we know that whenever there is distractions Thank and whatever we become derailed because of people, places, and things, God, we know that you're able to realign hallelujah. us. I thank you for realigning yes, Sister Aida. Yes. I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God that the best days of her life is ahead of her. I thank you, Lord, for not only blessing her monetarily, but I, I oh, I thank you for a realignment in her finances. I thank you for a realignment um, in her children. I thank you for the realignment and, and that's taken place in in her grandchildren. I thank you that, Lord, you're placing a heads of protection around her family that the enemy will not be able to penetrate from this day forward. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Touch we pray for Sister Hannah, uh, sickness in her body. We pray, Lord, that for divine healing, we believe that healing, the healing power of Jesus, it's touching Sister Hannah right now. In the name of Jesus, we declare it done by faith. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And, for Amen. Sister, and Sister Blackwell's family, I have to give you what the Holy Spirit gave me. Amen. And there's a spirit of witchcraft operating in your family, and we come against it. The Bible said Jesus became a curse, so we are no longer cursed. So whatever, whatever uh, spirit of witchcraft that's operating, that's causing confusion and sickness in the body, we curse it. We cancel it. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. And we speak the blessings of God. We are the children of Abraham. And we speak the blessings of Abraham over you and your family. Amen. For every generation. Amen. And we cast out that spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What a powerful time we've had with Amen. the Lord today. Listen. We, we're going to review. We're going back into the chat. We're going to review and read all of the comments and make sure that we pray for each and every one of you. We will pray back. We will respond mm -hmm. to your prayer request Amen. in the chat section. So Amen. we will reply. Amen. So we, we love you guys. Listen, Amen. hallelujah. Your best days are ahead of you. Amen. Um, woo! Amen. Come on, shake it off, folks. Shake it off. Shake the devil off. Shake him off. Amen. Anything that's been holding you down, keeping you down, shake it off in the name of Jesus. Shake off that sickness. Amen. Shake off that confusion. Shake it off. Hallelujah. New life. New life. New life. Hallelujah. So we're going to go ahead and and Amen. close because we don't know how. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. We're 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 on fire. Amen. And we feel God, but. We've had a great time with you. Listen. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, don't be discouraged. Better days are coming. Amen. What the enemy has met for bad, God is getting ready to turn it around for your good. Amen. We want to end Jesus. with this. We believe this, folks. We believe it. Amen. When we say it, we believe it. And that is, the best, best is yet, yet to come. come. God bless you. Love Amen. you. Talk Amen. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.